For the men of 57 Battalion, this was something out of the ordinary. As members of 26 Armoured Brigade of the Kuwaiti Army, they're normally driving tanks through the hot desert. Today, though, they've come to this training facility, an hour outside Kuwait City, to be taught urban warfare by the British Army. The soldiers are wearing tactical engagement simulation, or TES equipment, a laser system that alerts them when they're hit, but also records near misses and even indirect fire. It's been a fantastic uh, opportunity to, to sort of showcase expeditionary warfare. It's, it's, uh, whilst it's not warfare, it's the ability for the company to, to deploy out into uh, a foreign country, set itself up in what was initially quite austere conditions, uh, and then deliver uh, its task. Uh, you know, and this has been a short-term training team uh, to deliver a, a training package on urban operations. A section here suppressing this enemy building. This is Exercise Desert Warrior 3, the Kuwaiti soldiers storming a series of buildings and killing a mock enemy. They work in small teams, one group flanking around the side of the building while another section provides suppressing fire. The Kuwaiti Army works slightly different where they would have a platoon commander which is in charge of a section, basically he is the equivalent to one of our section commanders. We would then take them back, give them a quick exercise and uh, an enemy, a battle picture of where the enemy are and then would take a step back and see how they conduct their exercise and how they're going to take that building. To get across that ground at fast speed. Two Mercian have just over 100 men here, reinforced by 24 troops from 1st Battalion, the Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment, both battalions currently based in Cyprus. Also here are three interpreters from different parts of the army, able to translate and pass on the Mercian's instructions to their Kuwaiti pupils. Most of these soldiers operate the Kuwaiti Army's Desert Warrior Armoured Fighting Vehicle and for many this is their first time working alongside the UK military. Uh, at the first it was hard, it's enjoyment, we can't deny that, but it's hard. But like I said before, before all the credit go to the British Army, they made it like, like a drinking some water, it was so easy with them, it was so smooth, so fast and uh, so safe as in the same times. As well as teaching the Kuwaitis urban warfare, the Mercians are also here to learn themselves. Out in the desert, in a huge US-run range, they've been going through their live-firing tactical training, an annual evaluation of their weapon skills. The military links between this desert state and the UK go back a long time, most recently, of course, to 1990 and the first Gulf War. 50,000 British soldiers were involved in driving Saddam Hussein's army back across the border into Iraq. 290 Allied soldiers died, including 45 British troops who gave their lives in the liberation of Kuwait. For both the Mercians and 1PWRR, this deployment has given their more junior soldiers their first experience of the Middle East. When I first joined, obviously, I joined towards the end of Herrick's uh, stuff, so I thought kind of that would be a, more of a ball game. And then going to Germany for, I'd done eight years in Germany, uh, didn't really do much there, obviously exercises and stuff. So this has been a nice experience to come out here and actually train with uh, the Q80 army and stuff like that. Good effort, lads, keep going, keep pushing. The Mercians are here for a month, cementing ties with the Kuwaiti army and passing on the skills and tactics the British army has learned through decades of operations. From here, these soldiers will return to Cyprus and begin preparations for another big relocation, this time to the UK, when the whole battalion moves to Wheaton Barracks near Blackpool next summer. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.